Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Kaniswa and I'm coming to you guys today with a very special video. This is my very first mukbang video while at the same time this is also a ancestry video. Um, a couple months back I decided okay I want to get my uh, DNA tested by Ancestry.com and I went and I sent my saliva samples in and I honestly didn't take that long. It took maybe a month, maybe almost two months. So this video I'm going to give you guys my Ancestry.com results. Got them back. Yes. And it's a mukbang. So this is all my food. Um, I have a, this is a strawberry and, what is this, what is strawberry and, strawberry and pineapple punch. This was made by Mama Louise and I am eating Mama Louise's signature spaghetti. Like, this is her signature dish mama louise she ain't known for nothing else she's known for her spaghetti okay and then i am also i made my classic cheesecake strawberry courtesy of me and then here we got some texas toast okay so let's get to it but first i'm gonna dive into this this these skitties as honey boo would say honey we gotta get these skitties on so i am hungry i have not ate all day long and when I found out Mama Louise was making them making them scared it's honey you know I had I was like I'm just gonna wait till I get home to eat um, um, I can't wait to get to that Mama Louise her scared is the truth baby oh Ladies and gentlemen, please <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> to this YouTube channel. <laughs> and um, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me and tell me, give me some feedback. Tell me what y'all think. I ain't all day. I'm telling you. And this right here, as y'all been knowing, if y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all know I have been busting my butt at the gym, and I know. You know, all this carbohydrates, but you know, it is the weekend, and normally my cheat day doesn't start until Sunday. But, um, today is Saturday, and we're gonna start the cheat day a little bit early, okay? <laughs> I love it when my mother cooks. But y'all know sometimes it's hard to get her up to cook, but when she cook, honey, she stick a bit, she stick a foot in it. She stick her foot in it. Or as Deacon Parrish would say, honey, she stuck a big toe in it. Yes. Mama Louise, she uses like a lot of sausages. This is like a garden spaghetti. But Mama Louise uses a lot of different just sausages. Oh, you be so good. Everybody can be good. Y'all look at this. This is a sausage. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, if y'all have not had Mama Louise's spaghetti, y'all give me a call. Y'all contact me, okay? Through uh, Instagram. And if y'all live in the Central Florida area, I come and deliver. Mama Louise, well, she did that thing. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. So that is good. <clears throat> Take a sip of
<clears throat> okay, so let's get to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, guys. So my ancestry.com DNA results says that I am. It says my ethnicity, me, Kaniswa Ave Fini, I am 26% Nigerian. Now let's open that up and see what else. Yep, I'm 26% Nigerian, 23% um, Ivory Coast Ghana, I am 15% Cameroon Congo. And I'm 12% Senegal. Okay. Now I will say this. For a long time, I always, like in my mind, in my head, I always felt like I was Nigerian. I always felt like I was Nigerian. I don't know why, but I, I just, I don't know why. I've always felt like I was Nigerian. And for this to come up, whew, that's crazy. Oh, but something that I didn't tell you guys. In my family, I have been told that we were Barbadian, Trinidadian, uh, what else? Barbadian, Trinidadian, French Creole. So, you know, I'm anxious to see, like, will any of that even come up? Okay, so that's the African. Okay, so moving on, I am 6% Mali. Okay. I am 6% African Southern Eastern Bantu. Okay, and then I am also 2% Benin Togo, and I'm 1% African South Central Hunter Gathers. That's a mouthful. <laughs> okay, so that's just that's the, the African, the whole continent of Africa. I'm proud to be African. Love it. Also says that I am. Ba, 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 ba. Now these are my smaller percentages, and I have a lot of one percent. This is crazy, but it also says that I am caucus. I don't have a clue. What what is a caucus? But we're gonna find that. Okay. A 1% caucus, so the primary, primarily lo the primary locations for caucus, Armenia, Georgia, not the Georgia in the U.S., but you know, G Georgia overseas, <laughs> Georgia overseas, um, oh, oh, Iran, Iraq, Turkey, and Syria, okay, caucus. All right, so yeah, I'm 1% caucus. Yeah. Piece of the okay. This is so, so good. Mm -hmm. I did that thing, you know, but on point. Bye. Okay. It says that I'm 1% Europe West. So those primary locations are Belgium, France, Germany, the Netherlands, Switzerland, Luxembourg, Liechtenstein. I hope I said that right. I hope I said that right. Liechtenstein. But yeah, I'm Europe West. Okay? <laughs> Liechtenstein. That's crazy. Okay, um. And it's crazy, like, all of these places that they, I see they got on here. These are places that I have, as a child, I always dreamt about visiting. Like, so, you know, I, now, I really want to see these places even more now. Okay, <clears throat> so that was Europe West. I am also Europe South. 
So what is see what are primary locations? Primary prim <laughs> the primary locations for Europe, South, Italy, and Greece. That's good. Definitely want to take a trip to Italy one day. That's a big been a big dream of mine. Greece, um, but you know, hey, it's an adventure, so I don't mind going. Okay, okay, okay. Europe South. Oh, I am one percent Great Britain. So we already, if you done history, took history in school, then we know what Great Britain is. But I, for those who don't, I'll tell y'all anyway. Great Britain, England, Scotland, and Wales. Right, uh, um, and then it also says I'm one percent North African, so that's Morocco, Liberia, Algebra. I hope I said that right. Western Sahara. That's crazy. I wouldn't mind taking a trip to Morocco, though. Definitely. Um. 1% Asia Central. Oh. Okay, Asia Central. Now, when I heard this immediately, when I heard the word Asia, I'm thinking China, Japan. And I was like, oh, wow. A lot of people normally, they ask me, they always ask me, your name is Kaniswa. So, of course, they always think that it's Konichiwa. No, so I was like, well, hey, and then I always get the whole thing of, are you Asian? So when I saw Asia Central, I thought, yeah, actual Asia, but no, guys, uh, Asia Central is not the country, it's not Asia, it is the primary locations are Afghanistan, as 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 Juban, and a bunch of places I cannot pronounce. Sorry, guys. But yeah, Afghanistan, I definitely know that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Afghanistan. So, no, it's not Asia, Asia. It's another Asia, Asia Central. Okay, so Asia Central. I am also European Jewish, 1%. That's crazy. So, European Jewish, the primary locations. Poland, the Ukraine, Russia, Hungary, and Israel. Now, I definitely want to take a trip to Israel. Like, you, you guys just don't being Like, when I think of Israel, I think of, like, the Holy Land over there. Going to see where Jesus walked and just, I, I, want, to go, I want to go to Israel. That's on the must. That's on my bucket list. Israel, and I wouldn't mind going to Russia. Okay. See what else? 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 Okay. Okay. I am one percent Finland, Northwest Russia. Okay. So the primary locations are Finland and Northwest Russia. Very self-explanatory there. Um, another. I oh so one did pop up guys. Like I said, in my family, I had been told that we were Barbadian, Trinidadian, French Creole. So those kind of been stuff that's been going around in the family. You're this, you're this, you're this, you're that. One of them did pop up, and I heard that we were Indian as well. And I am 1% one per, one Indian. So, of course, where I live, North Primary locations, North America, South America, and Central America. So, all of the Americas. Okay, and I think, are we on the last one? No, we're, yeah, we're on the last one. And this one tripped me out. But the more I thought about it, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, the uh, Liberian Peninsula. So, I am 1% Liberian Peninsula. So, the primary locations are Spain and Portugal. This, it, it shocked me because I never thought that I would have any Spanish blood, 
But now that I really think about it, I was born and raised in the state of Florida. So if you if you if you've taken history in school, then you know at one point in time I think Florida was Spanish Spanish territory. So if, yeah, it makes sense. So yeah, I'm one percent uh Spanish. Spain and Portugal. Hey, this is crazy. So I was very excited to get these results back because growing up I just heard so many things I've heard like well, we're this and we're that and da 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 and I'm I'm very very excited to have these results and I cannot wait for my family members out there who I know are gonna watch this video who I know they're gonna hear you know what this you know the results you know, I'm very, very excited. So this is something wonderful. And I encourage everybody out there, if you don't know your ancestry, if you don't know what you are, go take the test. Ancestry.com, they all they for the most part are always running a sale. I caught this myself for like I bought it like a like eighty some dollars when normally it's like a hundred and something. But I found out later on, had I waited a little bit longer, I could have got a better deal than what I did because it eventually went down to 40 50 something dollars and i really wish i would have caught that deal but nevertheless i got it i did something this was this was definitely on my bucket list and it was on my bucket list to do it with ancestry.com i'm so proud and so happy that i did do it with them and um yeah i i now have something that I, like i say i can share with my family i have something now that i can also show my children when whenever they arrive, <laughs> whenever God sees fit for them to be here, I can show this to them. Um, this is crazy. Now, what's on my on my bucket list to do now is to also, I found out something the other day, it's called African Ancestry. So from my knowledge and what I know thus far is that they can narrow it down to the tribes. I'm here for that. Okay, I'm here for that. I cannot. Eight. Oh, I want to do that one so bad. And then also, I want to start building my family tree now. I think having a, like, let's just say a picture of seeing, like, what I am. Now I want to go back and I want to pull my ancestors and, and build the family tree so I can not only share with my family, but once again, of course, my children whenever they arrive. Um... Yeah, so this was something that was big on my bucket list, and I am very happy that I I did it. I'm happy I accomplished that, got that off my list, and it was something that I feel is just very important. I feel like everybody needs to know their ancestry. Everybody needs to know where you come from, so I'm happy. And uh, the next person in my family to take this test, I really want both of my parents to take this test I want to kind of like I think like when they take it it's going to give me a little bit more insight on okay this Liberian Peninsula the Spanish blood or this Portuguese blood where did it come from is it my mother is it my father so maybe one pretty soon I'll get two DNA kits one for him one for my father one for my mother and they can both take the test um, I kind of want to narrow it down and definitely I want to start building my family tree and you know I just I can't wait I cannot wait to start doing that and definitely take doing African ancestry because I would definitely want to know the different tribes and stuff you know being African American and knowing that our ancestors were I guess you could say they were they were taken from their land knowing where we come from, knowing our ancestry, knowing like our original languages. You know, being African American, we, a lot of us a lot of us don't know the original languages that our ancestors spoke. We don't know our our original foods that we see. Yeah, we say that African Americans we have what's called soul food, but that may not have been what we were eating over in Africa. <laughs> um, like, we were really stripped of a lot of stuff. And 
Oh, that's unfortunate, but yeah. So I, I definitely want to do African ancestry. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. But y'all, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna dive into this, this nice spaghetti Mama Louise made. I I could try on the flip side, all right? <laughs> so, till next time, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> I will hit y'all up later. Deuces. Also, ladies and gentlemen, please check out poppyapparel.com and use my promo code KANISWA10 for 10% off any of your purchases. That's KANISWA, K-A-N-E-S-W-A, and the number 10 for 10% off any of your purchases at poppyapparel.com.